about the world we live in because I do extemp and I have to learn about every fact that's ever happened or make them up. Getting up at five in the morning to compete is a little bit of a pain, but it's worth it. It's one of the most amazing experiences of my life. When I first came back from my boarding school, which was like all the way in India, I really didn't know what to do in America. And the first thing I decided to try out was speech and debate. I think speech and debate really opens that up for everyone, is that you get to be someone. So I would be no one. <laughs> I'd be so empty without it because I wouldn't have all the friends and all the experiences that I've had. But without speech and debate, I don't really know what I'd be doing. Because it challenges me in more than one way. And without it, I can't imagine what my life would be. It's my favorite thing to do in the whole world. It's my first time actually competing. I try not to trip um, <laughs> or hit him. Yeah, um, touch me. Yeah. It's, it's a it's lot. everything we've worked for all four years, so it's a lot to us. I got a feeling that tonight's gonna be a good night. That tonight's gonna be a good night. That tonight's gonna be a good, good night. A feeling that tonight's gonna be a good night. That tonight's gonna be a good night. That tonight's gonna be. Nice girl. 
This is a little embarrassing. Well, no, Mr. Sheaf. I guess I'm just going to have to start this whole thing myself. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome to the 2012 Brick. For the past two years, you have interrupted my introduction, my coming out party, if you will, <laughs> to introduce people who may have acquired some fame or glory. Jennifer Garner, Ben Affleck, I thought these were appropriate. Congratulations for our guests. I'm the announcer guy. But since you've done that to me, I decided that payback would be fair. So I have brought to you one of my closest friends, somebody I have always looked up to, a deep and personal friend of this guy. All right, let's see. The National Frisbee League. This is how I got my start, and this is this is what I do, and I'm an expert at it. So that's that's me. All right, cool. All right, this is Nelson Muntz. I just wanted to say the NFL has helped me because um, it's helped kind of structure me and help keep me a little bit more focused, especially regarding my anger issues. Okay, so I'm all for the NFL. And I'm just gonna say this is Ralph Wiggum. I'm Idaho. I'm Nancy Cartwright, welcome to my home. We are sitting in my sunroom, and I just wanted to say, you guys, look at you. You are gorgeous. Every single, you're all dressed up in your Sunday best. You got your suits on and your gals with your fashionista. 3,000 of you. From what I understand, you guys are the top 1%, right? 120, something like that. Well, 
120,000 kids. Uh, yeah, this is amazing. And you've all made it this far. You're at the Ben Davis, the, the national. You know what? I started doing this. This was so long ago. In 37 years ago, I, I was actually given my NFL card. This is my very first NFL card. It's dated January 23rd, 1974. Yeah, and I am of emerald status. Can you see that? So I just wanted to say congratulations. Obviously, there are no losers there, except for that one. Who was that kid there in the third row? Okay. Anyway, you made it too. You are all winners. You are all winners being here. I think it's phenomenal that you're doing this, and it's fun, isn't it? I, I mean, I, I, I had a blast doing it. So keep on going. I wish you all the best. Keep doing it and um, pass the baton on to your kid uh, later on. <laughs> Wait, are we talking about a triathlon? Wait a minute. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Congratulations, you guys. Bye. That was pretty good, Mr. Sheaf. I know. Congratulations. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce to you the president of the National Forensic League and Hall of Fame member, Mr. Billy Tate. Well, students, coaches, what do you think? I always ask, have you had a great time? Those Hoosiers can't hear you. Thank you. A lot of effort on the parts of many people have gone into making this a tremendous tournament. One I had no doubts about, not at all. And they proved us right in every area but one. Scott, don't faint. What is that area? There is not one soul behind this stage, and many people know the answer to this question. Nobody that I know knows, unless you live here. What in the heck's a Hoosier? <laughs> Please see me so I can disseminate information. Always teaching behind the stage. We've had a great time here, and we want to thank the people who made it possible most sincerely. Well, we do all know that it takes an incredible amount of effort. And so at this time, we would like to thank those schools and the school system that made the entire tournament possible. Let's please welcome to the stage the following administrators from the Metropolitan, Sc Metropolitan School District of Wayne Township. Superintendent of Wayne Township, Dr. Jeffrey Butts, and Assistant Principal over student life at Ben Davis High School, Mr. Matt Claudfelter. Absolutely. Let's hear it for this wonderful school district. At this time, let's welcome to the stage your tournament host committee. Coming to the stage is Janice Cotta, J.D. Ferris Rowe, Bill Hicks, Kirby Volts, Holly Hathaway, Jeff Stutzman, Sarah McKenzie, Michael Yakey, Matt Rund, Don Fortner, Samantha O'Connor, and David McKenzie.
On behalf of the National Forensic League, we sincerely thank you and the rest of the coaches, students, and administrators of the great state of Indiana for your commitment to the NFL and the 2012 Big Brickyard Nationals. This tournament was a success because of the outstanding sacrifice that you all made. Would uh, our tournament host, David McKenzie, and our host school uh, uh, teacher, Sam O'Connor, please step forward. One of, the, one of the byproducts of the three-year process of hosting the national tournament is that I get the opportunity to know the host school coaches and the host committee chair very well. And like all years, this was no exception. I gained two valuable friendships in the process. Sam and David, I know this was a, a huge effort and a lot of work. The National Forensic League thanks you so much. And we have a couple of uh, things that will hopefully help you relax a little bit over the summer. Just mementos from us. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Your local hosts. I would like to ask before the Indianans leave for Mr. Bill Hicks to come stand center stage X on the white X. The Gregory Rene Sterner Lifetime Service Award honors an individual who has dedicated his or her life to the activity of forensics through true service to the National Forensic League. The award is named after one of the NFL's greatest servants, Brother Rene Sterner, its inaugural winner. Through his words and actions, tonight's recipient serves as an excellent example of the NFL commitment to service. He earned his first NFL coach degree in 1967, and 45 years later, he has earned seven diamonds. In addition to his work at Brabus Jesuit Preparatory School, he spent 10 years as district chair of the Hoosier Crossroads District, developing new, new leaders, mentoring growing programs, and championing, championing fair competition at the district tournament. In addition, tonight's recipient has served on the National Congress TAB staff for many years. He has provided thousands of national tournament photos that have appeared in the rostrum since 1995. He has now been part of three national tournament hosting committees in Indiana. He has received 10 Distinguished Service plaques and was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1994 for his contributions to speech and debate education. Tonight, he receives another prestigious honor in recognition of his giving spirit and commitment to service. That's why the recipient of this year's Brother Gregory Rene Sterner Lifetime Service Award is Indiana's own Bill Hicks. Congratulations, Bill. Thank you. That's a heck of a How am I supposed to get a ball game? Have him fill it up. Thank you. As we all know, the national tournament would not be possible without the wonderful work of over 200 volunteer tournament officials that work throughout the week 
to assure a wonderful and fair competition. Those of you that served on a TAB staff this week, please stand. The NFL thanks you for your efforts and extends a special thanks to its tournament event chairs, Kyle Howe, Michael Starks, Pauline Kurochi, Vicki Fellers, Kathy Wood, J.A. Masters, John McWilliams, Dalvin Yeager, Daryl Harbaugh, Greg Malice, Jay Stubbs, and Stephen Shapaw for your efforts throughout the week. Thank you very much. Lincoln fin Financial Group is the NFL's title sponsor of the 2012 National Speech and Debate Tournament. The members of the NFL want to express their deep gratitude for Lincoln Financial Group's continued support. President and CEO Dennis Glass, Assistant Vice President David Wozniak and their staff are incredible friends of the NFL. The rapport between the two organizations is truly amazing. Thank you, Lincoln Financial Group, for everything that you do. As most of you know, this, year's Lincoln fin fin this year, Lincoln Financial Group is honoring four schools as participating schools of the year, each receiving a $500 NFL grant simply for attending the national tournament. On the screen now are the four schools that received the 2012 Lincoln Financial Group School Participant Grants randomly drawn earlier this week. Blue Springs High School, Missouri, Hallsville High School, Texas, St. James School, Alabama, Skyview High School, Montana. In addition, Lincoln Financial Group will be selecting five students from this year's tournament to serve as participants of the year. Let's call up Sandy Kemish of Lincoln Financial Group to do the honors of award awarding our first two $1,000 Student Participant of the Year scholarships. And remember, you must be present to win. All right, Sandy, here we go. Okay. All right, here we go. Now you're gonna deep dig and, and draw them out of there. Mix them around a little bit. That's right, here we go. Dig deep down in there. Okay. Do we have Anna Goble of Centennial High School in Idaho? Is she here? Nope. No Anna. No Anna. Sorry Anna. Sorry Anna. Let's draw another one. Oh, I think we've got a chance here. Sophia G. Callahan, Egan High School, Minnesota. Congratulations, Sophia. Where's the next one? Hold on to that one. Andre Smith, Balin Jesuit Prep School in Florida. Andre, come on up. Congratulations. Thank you, Sandy. We'll call you up a little later for some more. Odds are looking good for you out there, folks. <laughs> Remember, we'll have three more later in the evening and you must be present to win. Let's call up to the stage now. Welcome to the stage, your 2012 NJFL National Champions that are, were awarded earlier this afternoon.
Let's hear it for the future of forensics. Hold them up, guys. Hold them up. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage the president of Western Kentucky University, Dr. Gary A. Ransdell, and director of forensics for WKU, Mr. Jace Lux. For 10 years, Western Kentucky University has been the sponsor of humorous interpretation and the supplemental and consolation events. Dr. Ransdell, on behalf of the National Forensic League, we would like to give special recognition this year to Western Kentucky University for its sponsorship and support of the National Forensic League for a milestone 10 years. The support has been instrumental to the league and to the national tournament. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in thanking Dr. Ransdell and Western Kentucky University for support of this tournament and NFL activities. It is truly appreciated. Mr. Tate. Thank you so much. <laughs> Mr. Sheaf. Yes, sir. Those NJFL uh, champions inspired me. I'm just tired of seeing all this hardware sitting on these tables. Let's get it out of here. All right. How about some Constellation National Champions? What do you say? Let's do it. With the six finalists in storytelling come forward to stage right and their coaches to the stage left holding areas. As we crown our first national champions, you will notice that each of our national champions will receive more than a trophy in scholarship money. The NFL would like to thank the NFL contingency from Hawaii for arranging the traditional NFL champion lays. This evening, in appropriate fashion, the first Hawaiian lays were presented to each Hall of Fame member who have joined us this evening. In addition to the Hawaiian lays in true brickyard fashion, each champion will receive the traditional Indy 500 milk jug, compliments of Plymouth High School. Each jug contains a commemorative checkered flag, compliments of the Indiana speech community, which indicates crossing the finish line as a champion. Assisting each of our event sponsors in congratulating our winners tonight will be your NFL Board of Directors. President Billy Tate, Vice President Don Crabtree, Ms. Candy King, Mr. Tommy Lindsay Jr., Brother Kevin Delmas, Ms. Pam McComas, Ms. Pam Katie Wyckoff, and David Houston, and alternate Mr. J. Rye. Your winners in Western Kentucky University storytelling. In sixth place, Sean Jordan from Holy Ghost Prep in Pennsylvania, coached by Tony Fiola. Fifth place, Alex Leon from Eastview High School in Minnesota, coached by Brittany Parker. In fourth place, Stephanie Calligan from Chanhassen High School in Minnesota, coached by James Fedgey. In third place, Emma Johnson from Lakeville North High School in Minnesota, coached by Joshua Allen. Your runner-up in storytelling is Sam Scalato from Chanhassen High School in Minnesota, coached by James Fedgey. And the winner of Western Kentucky University Storytelling receiving a $500 scholarship is Kiki Lang from Eastview High School, Minnesota, coached by Brittany Parker. 
Your winners in Western Kentucky University Impromptu are in sixth place, Christopher Riley Gonya from Burris Labs High School in Indiana, coached by Frederick Shears. In fifth place, Sandhya Jetty from Mira Loma High School in California, coached by Suri Jetty. In fourth place, Megan Crowther from Kamehameha High School in Hawaii, coached by Gabriel Alisana. In third place, Allison McKibben from El Dorado High School in Kansas, coached by Megan Hangman. Your runner-up in impromptu is Ryan Janowski from Cleveland High School in California, coached by Jessica Osborne. And the winner of Western Kentucky University Impromptu receiving a $500 scholarship is Matt Rowan from Pensbury High School in Pennsylvania, coached by Steve Medoff and Scott Pollock. Would the National Student of the Year finalist please come to stage right? The National Student of the Year Award, sponsored by Gustavus Adolphus College, is considered one of the most honorable and renowned student awards presented by the National Forensic League. The National Student of the Year is awarded to a graduating senior member who has been honored by as a district student of the year and who best represents the tenets of the NFL Code of Honor, integrity, respect, humility, leadership, and service. The National Student of the Year wins a $1,000 scholarship from Gustavus Adolphus College and will represent the league in various public capacities throughout the 2012-2013 school year. This past Monday, while we were all enjoying national tournament registration in the first rounds, each of the six National Student of the Year finalists participated in an interview with our national panel of judges. They have selected NFL's 2012 National Student of the Year. Joining us this evening to honor all our finalists is the Director of Forensics at Gustavus Adolphus College, Mr. Chris Cratch. Please welcome to the stage our six National Student of the Year finalists. <laughs> Quinlan Cowell from East Mountain High School representing the New Mexico District, coached by Trey Smith. Kelby McKay Surzwanka from West Plains High School, representing the Ozark District in Missouri, coached by Christina Staub. Nicole Fisher from Mesquite High School, representing the Arizona District, coached by Cassie Albert. Robert Jackson from Hastings High School, representing the Space City District in Texas, coached by Lillian Ogumbanjo. Gabriel Rykoff from Savannah High School, representing the Heart of America District in Missouri, coached by Sean Berry. Prirana Vadi from Notre Dame High School, representing the California Coast District, coached by Sarah Butch McGinn. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, before we find out who your National Student of the Year is, let's hear it from our finalists. <laughs> The reason why I do speech and debate at this point, it's really come down to the people I've met through speech and debate. Um, I can talk to you all day about the benefits such as improved public speaking and writing skills, but I think at the end of the day, 
like what I like most about this activity is the people I meet. Do as opposed to dream. Um, and for example, when I was younger, I had these awesome dreams of you know me changing the world and you know changing it for the better and sort of becoming the president as every kid would. Um, and you know in high school, I had the same dreams over and over. But then when I had experience with speech and debate, I actually had um, the ability and the confidence to do what I wanted to dream to do. I think the most important thing that I've learned is that winning doesn't matter. It's not about going and winning a trophy, it's about putting everything into it and then in the end the relationships that you build with other people are lifelong relationships, not even just at your school but in your state and all across the nation. In speech and debate I get to go into an extent room and I get to answer a question to judges who actually want to listen to my answer and in public forum I get to explain to them you know that, that this side of the resolution is the right side of the resolution for this reason and they actually want to listen to what I have to say. The one thing that speech and debate has given me is the confidence to stand up and to be myself. It's given me the confidence to look somebody in the eye, to be able to express my opinion without any hesitation. It's such an amazing organization that it's mind-blowing to, to, to think about how much you can gain from it. And that's why, you know, at my school I try to get so many people involved in the speech and debate program because it's not just about competing, but it's about life experiences that you gain once you join the speech and debate program at your high school. In a debate room, I can't go into the room and, and help children in Africa or anything, but, but you take all the intangibles that speech and debate gives you, and that's what you can apply to all the other things in your life. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2012 National Student of the Year is Quinlan Cow from East Mountain High School, coached by Trey Smith. There is nothing better than being on a great team. It's especially meaningful when your team wins a School of Excellence Award. How do schools earn the distinction of be calling a, being called a School of Excellence? Mm -hmm. A team can win the School Probably of Debate true. Excellence Award with 40 rounds, a School of Speech Excellence Award with 50 rounds, and an All Events Award with, 10, with 70 rounds if at least 30 are in debate and 40 are in speech. What constitutes a round? Rounds are counted for students who break into the elimination rounds. In addition, there are special formulas for congressional debate. Please welcome to the stage advisors from the following schools of excellence in debate. From California, Bellarmine College Prep. From Blue Valley Southwest High School. From Wisconsin, Brookfield East High School. From Arizona, Brophy College Prep. From Missouri, Central High School, Springfield. From Colorado, Cherry Creek High School. From California, College Prep High School. From Florida, Cypress Bay High School. From Iowa, Des Moines Roosevelt High School. From Iowa, Dowling Catholic High School. From Colorado, George Washington High School. From Illinois, Glenbrook South High School. From California, Monta Vista High School. From Missouri, Raytown High School. From New Jersey, Ridge High School. From California, the Harker School. From Ohio, University School. From Iowa, West High School, Iowa City. From Indiana, West Lafayette High School. 
And from Kansas, Wichita East High School. Congratulations to the Schools of Excellence in debate. Please welcome to the stage advisors from the Schools of Excellence in Speech. From California, Bellarmine College Prep. From Missouri, Blue Springs High School. From Illinois, Downers Grove South High School. From Minnesota, Egan High School. From Minnesota, Eastview High School. From California, Gabrielino High School. From Mississippi, Hattiesburg High School. From Missouri, Independence Truman High School. From California, James Logan High School. From Minnesota, Lakeville North High School. From Indiana, Munster High School. From Florida, Nova High School. From South Dakota, O'Gorman High School. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to the Schools of Excellence in Speech. This year, one school achieved the requirements to be named a school of excellence in all events. Ladies and gentlemen, your all events school of excellence from California, Bellarmine College Prep. Your winners in prose reading are in sixth place, London Barome from Munster High School in Indiana, coached by Helen Ingstrom. In fifth place, Amy Chiang from Syosset High School in New York, coached by Lydia Esslinger. In fourth place, Amber Olivia Contreras from Gregory Lee Portland High School in Texas, coached by Charlotte Brown. In third place and receiving a $250 scholarship is Joy Akinfwa from Bronx Preparatory Charter School in New York, coached by Sarah Rosenberg. Your runner-up receiving a $500 scholarship is Tatiana Padilla from Munster High School in Indiana, coached by Helen Ingstrom. And the winner in prose reading receiving a $1,000 Western Kentucky University scholarship and a $400 Hall of Fame scholarship is Christian Ferry from Munster High School in Indiana, coached by Helen Ingstrom. Your winners in poetry reading are in sixth place, Mackenzie Eccles from John H. Geyer High School in Texas, coached by Michael Bolin. In fifth place, Zaria Suggs from Munster High School in Indiana, coached by Jordan Mayer. In fourth place, Xavier Clark from Smithville High School in Texas, coached by James Thompson. In third place, and receiving a $250 scholarship, Bobby Greason from Norman High School in Oklahoma, coached by Casey Harrison.
Your runner-up receiving a $500 scholarship is... Aldine Pearson from Mansfield High School in Texas, coached by Christy Thomas. The winner of Poetry Reading, receiving a $1,000 Western Kentucky University scholarship and a $400 Hall of Fame scholarship is Zach Lindsay from Central High School in San Angelo, Texas, coached by Julie Shiners. Your winners in expository speaking. In sixth place, Hannah Bredden from Albertine Central in South Dakota, coached by Colleen Meisenheimer. In fifth place, Delaney Marie Piggins from Holland High School in Michigan, coached by Kevin Schneider. In fourth place, Ryan Carrington from Normal Community West High School in Illinois, coached by e Ellie Marvin. In third place and receiving a $250 Western Kentucky scholarship is Nathan Johnson from Danville High School in Kentucky, coached by Steve Meadows. Your runner-up in expository speaking, receiving a $500 scholarship is Ethan Wilkins from Raytown South High School in Missouri, coached by Matt Good. The winner of expository speaking, receiving a $1,000 Western Kentucky University scholarship and a $400 Hall of Fame scholarship is Austin Kennedy from Desert Vista High School in Arizona, coached by Eric Dominguez. Your winners in commentary. In sixth place, Lauren Moore from Cary Academy in North Carolina, coached by Richard Pelicata. In fifth place, Quinlan Caro from East Mountain High School in New Mexico, coached by Trey Smith. In fourth place, Nigel Halliday from Pine Richards High School in Pennsylvania, coached by Barbara Vasantani. In third place and receiving a $250 scholarship is Tegan Alexander Lende from Fargo Davies High School in North Dakota, coached by Denise Rader. Your runner up receiving a $500 scholarship is Gregory Ross from Lamar High School in Texas, coached by Eloise Weisinger Blair. The winner in commentary, receiving a $1,000 Western Kentucky University scholarship and a $400 Hall of Fame scholarship, is Dylan Dickens from Friendswood High School in Texas, coached by Cheryl Rhine. Let's give a huge round of applause to the sponsor of all the supplemental and consolation events, Mr. Jace Lux and Western Kentucky University. Now with the six finalists and their coaches in supplemental debate presented by Colorado College, please come forward. Your winners, in sixth place, Graham Deckard from Park Hill High School in Missouri, coach Tyler Unsel. In fifth place, Vera Reneff from Lamar High School in Texas, coach Eloise Weisinger Blair. In fourth place, Mackenzie Carmody from Brentwood High School in Tennessee, coach Harriet Medlin. In third place, Sean Oliver from Plano Senior High School in Texas, Coach Cheryl Potts. 
The runner-up in supplemental debate, Justin Katz from Durham Academy in North Carolina, coached by Robert Sherrod. The winner of supplemental debate receiving a $500 Colorado College Scholarship is Devin Smith from Nixa High School in Missouri, coached by John Horner. A big round of applause for the sponsor of our supplemental debate, Dr. Edmonds and Colorado College. It's now time to honor the members of the 67th Annual John C. Stennis National Congress. With the finalists in Congressional Debate Senate, please come forward to stage right and their coaches to the stage left holding areas. The NFL is most honored to have as the official sponsor of the National Student Congress, the John C. Stennis Center for Public Service, Training, and Development. The center's mandate is to build a better America by training people in public service. They do incredible programs with women in government, state legislators, and capital aides, as well as sponsoring the naval carrier, the John C. Stennis. NFL student congressmen and congresswomen exemplify the core tenets of the Stennis Center. Would our finalist senators and their coaches please come to the stage, and would the finalists in Student Congress House come forward to the stage right and their coaches to the stage left holding areas? To congratulate the winners of the NFL John C. Stennis Student Congress, please welcome the former aide to Senator Stennis and now Executive Director of the Stennis Center for Public Service, the Honorable Rex G. Buffington II. In the Senate, the top presiding officer is Stephen P. Tyler from Bell and Jesuit Preparatory School in Florida, Coach Luis Giseles. Your winners in John C. Stennis Student Congress Senate are in sixth place, Sarah Weiss from St. Andrews Episcopal School in Texas, coaches Lauren Rapkin, Lauren Hug, and Reagan Opal. In fifth place, Martin D. Page from Milton Academy in Massachusetts, coach Susan Marinelli and Owen Kane. In fourth place, Christina Gilbert from Los Gatos High School in California coaches Sharon Smith and Brandon Silberstein. In third place, Michael Ipolitalo from Mesquite High School in Arizona coaches Cassie Alder and Kevin Burlatt. Your runner up in the Senate, William Gonzalez from Winter Spring High School in Florida, Coach Luke Kupsnick. And your national champion in the John C. Stennis Senate, receiving a $1,000 scholarship, coached by a former national champion in Congress, Noah Whitson from Evanston Township High School in Illinois, coaches Jeff Hannon and Ben Berkman. The Senate Leadership Bowl, the Senate Leadership Bowl is awarded to the senator whose peers voted him or her the most outstanding in the national super session. The 2012 Senate Leadership Leadership Bowl winner is Martin Page from Milton Academy in Massachusetts, coach Susan Morelli and Owen Kane.
At this time, would the finalists in congressional debate House please come forward? And would the six finalists in the Arthur N. Roop Foundation Public Forum debate come forward to the stage right and their coaches to the stage left holding areas? In the House of Representatives, the top presiding officer is Justin Ying from Plano Senior High School in Texas, Coach Cheryl Potts. Your, your winners in the John C. Stennis House of Representatives are sixth place, Joe Russell from Brophy College Prep in Arizona, coaches Elizabeth Clark, Kevin Berlott, and Stephen Ebsberger. In fifth place, Justin Ying from Plano Senior High School in Texas, Coach Cheryl Potts. In fourth place, Connor Meckles-Fessel from Miramonte High School in California, coaches Kristen Plant and Sandra McGuire. In third place, Shivam Patel from Ridge High School in New Jersey, Coach David Ustremski. Your runner-up in the house is Noah Werfel from Chandler Prep Academy in Arizona, coaches Kevin Berlatt, Brittany Stanzik, and Kimberly Bayen Berlatt. Your national champion in the John C. Stennis House receiving a $1,000 scholarship is enough. Chiricapalli from Doherty Valley High School in California, coaches John McMillan, Hari Chalakapari, and Armanda Domovatsky. The House Leadership Bowl is awarded to the representative whose peers voted him or her the most outstanding in the national super session. The 2012 House Leadership Bowl winner is David Jakovowicz from Nova High School in Florida, coaches Lisa Miller and Casey Miller. A special award named for NFL's first president, Center Carl E. Munt of South Dakota, is presented each year to the school which has accumulated the most student Congress participation points. Contenders for next year's award are, with 135 points, Miramonte High School in California, and with 134 points, just one point behind, Bellarmine College Prep in California. But this year's Senator Carl E. Munt Congress Sweepstakes Trophy is awarded to, the, to students Sitara Ali and Arush Thaper and coach Michael Vigers from Trinity Prep School in Florida. The National Forensic League has partnered with the American Legion to enhance oratorical speaking education through the promotion of the American Legion Oratorical Speech Contest. Please welcome to the stage the Assistant Director of Americanism and Children and Youth Vision, Colin W. Short, and the 2012 Oratorical Contest winner, Rebecca Frazier from Indiana. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, the best, the greatest, the top trophy at the national tournament is the one named after our founder, the Bruno E. Jacob Trophy. Bruno E. Jacob was NFL's founder and executive director for more than 40 years. The Pi Kappa Delta Bruno E. Jacob Trophy is awarded in his honor to the school that has earned the greatest number of cumulative rounds in main events at the national tournament. 
Helping present the award is the president-elect of Pi Kappa Delta, also a coach at Weiser High School in Idaho, Jeff Stoppenhagen. The trophy is endowed by Bruno E. Jacobs College Speech Society, Pi Kappa Delta. Next year's Bruno Jacob Pi Kappa Delta trophy contenders are Iowa City West in Iowa, Plano Senior High School in Texas, Park View High School in Missouri, and Holy Ghost Prep in Pennsylvania. Please join President Billy Tate in congratulating this year's recipient. With 1,471 rounds of competition, this year's winner of the Bruno E. Jacob Pi Kappa Delta Trophy is Appleton East High School in Wisconsin, coached by Michael Tross and Deborah Weir Tross. The Bruno E. Jacob Commendation the Bruno E. Jacob Commendation is presented to a coach of the school winning the Bruno E. Jacob Pi Kappa Delta Trophy if that coach has coached 50% of the total rounds. The NFL is proud to award the 2012 Bruno Coach Commendation to Michael Trass from Appleton East High School. The Albert S. Odom Jr. Commendation is presented to the current director of the school winning the Bruno E. Jacob Pi Kappa Delta Trophy. The award has recently been named in honor of one of the most outstanding supporters of the NFL and former longtime assistant to Mr. Jacob, the late Albert S. Odom Jr. The NFL is proud to award the 2012 Albert S. Odom Commendation to Michael Truss. Policy debate at the NFL National Tournament is sponsored by Bickel & Brewer. The Bickel & Brewer Foundation is the creator of the only international debate scholarship competition that combines both oral and written debates. Students compete annually in this international competition for a chance to win $10,000 in prizes in student and school scholarships. All schools are encouraged to visit the NFL website for more information on entering next year's contest. Your winners in Bickel and Brewer policy debate are quarter finalist in sixth place. Jackson Herman and Alexander Ellickson from Shawnee Heights High School in Kansas, Coach Aaron DeChant. <laughs> Quarter finalists in fifth place, John Langell and Simon Philip Thomas Sheaf from Dowling Catholic High School in Iowa, coached by me. Semi-finalists in fourth place, Jordan Simonson and Caitlin Powers from Washington High School in South Dakota, coached by Zach Pogany. <laughs> Semi-finalists in third place, Donald Tebow and Connor J. O'Brien from Glenbrook South High School in Illinois, coached by Tara Tate. This year, the American Institute of Aeronautics and Aer Aeronautics took special interest in the 2012 policy debate resolution. We are thankful for their partnership with the NFL throughout the year in providing resources for teachers and coaches on the space topic. AIAA members J.R. Edwards, L. Nicole Smith, and Dr. Lance Bush assisted with judging this year's championship round and are here to present the two finalist teams with a commemorative plaque signifying their achievement. The plaque features a replica of the New Frontier Congressional Gold Medal as presented to Buzz Aldrin, Neil Armstrong, and Michael Collins. 
Thank you to AIAA for their support of policy debate and the NFL. The national champion policy debate team will receive the Harland B. Mitchell Trophy, named after NFL's legendary debate coach. The national runners-up in policy debate are Elsa Gavon and Nicholas Yan from College Prep in California, coached by Lexi Green. And by a 9-6 vote for the affirmative, the national champion in Bickle and Brewer policy debate and recipient of the Harland B. Mitchell Trophy are Liam Hancock and Jeffrey Ding from West High School in Iowa City, Iowa, coached by Melanie Johnson. Each year, each year, the Ted W. Belch Award, named after the legendary NFL coach and Hall of Fame member, Ted Belch, is presented to the coach of the national champion policy debate team. In addition, a permanent replica trophy is housed in the NFL headquarters and on a larger base displays the names of each year's recipient. Please welcome to the stage to present this year's award, the legendary coach himself, Mr. Ted W. Belch. This year's recipient of the Ted W. Belch Award is Coach Melanie Johnson from Iowa City, Iowa. The Unger Cup is awarded this year to the policy debate program which has placed the highest cumulative at five great national debate tournaments. The International Public Policy Forum, the NAUDL Nationals, NCFL Grand, the Tournament of Champions, and the NFL National Debate Tournament. An antique silver three-handled loving cup created by Tiffany at the turn of the century remains at the NFL National Office and bears the names of all Unger Cup recipients. The winning team will receive a beautiful trophy replica. We ask that Mr. Belch remain on stage and award this year's Unger Cup to the team that won both NFL and the Tournament of Champions, Iowa City West High School, coached by Melanie Johnson. Please welcome the six finalist teams and their coaches in Arthur N. Roop Foundation Public Forum debate as they come forward to the stage. This year, the National Forensic League is honored to fulfill a generous grant provided by the Arthur N. Roop Foundation to increase the popularity and prestige of public forum debate. Thanks to the support of the Roop Foundation, NFL has been able to provide an unprecedented, unprecedented number of resources for public forum debaters since 2009. As a result, a record number of students participated in public forum debate this year. Please welcome to the stage to congratulate the winners of the Arthur N. Root Public Forum debate, the executive director of the foundation, Dr. Jeff Kane. Your winners in Arthur N. Root Foundation Public Forum debate are quarter finalists in sixth place, each receiving $1,500 scholarship, Eric Poole and Matt Marxer from Byron Nelson High School in Texas, coached by Brian Simpson.
Quarterfinalists in fifth place, each receiving a $1,500 scholarship. Joseph Kulin and Alexa Javronsky from St. Mary's High School in Colorado, coached by David Camos. <laughs> Semi-finalists in fourth place, each receiving a $2,500 scholarship. Adam Badrai and Sam Klein from Ridge High School in New Jersey, coached by Lynn Coyne and David Yastrzemski. Semi-finalists in third place, each receiving a $2,500 scholarship. Samantha Franks and Alex W. Bailey from Nixa High School in Missouri, coached by John Horner. The national runners-up in public forum debate, each receiving a $4,500 scholarship are Joseph G. Bennett and Joseph Thomas Gene Summers from Raytown South High School in Missouri, coached by Matthew Good. By a 7-4 decision for the pro, the national champions in public forum debate, each receiving a $5,000 scholarship and an Arthur N. Roop trophy, are Andrew Sharma and Anish Chona from the Harker School in California, coached by Carol Green. At this time, please welcome the top six Lincoln Financial Group Lincoln Douglas debaters to the stage. The National Forensic League is proud of its partnership with Lincoln Financial Group, the sponsor of Lincoln Douglas debate. Congratulating tonight's winners on behalf of Lincoln Financial Group is Ms. Sandy Kemish, director of Lincoln Financial Foundation. Your winners in Lincoln Financial Group Lincoln Douglas debate are Quarter finalist in sixth place, Sam Matthews from Kent Denver School in Colorado, coached by Kurt McDonald. <laughs> Quarter finalist in fifth place, Kyle Allen Neeson from Brentwood School in California, coached by Victor G. <laughs> Semi finalist in fourth place and receiving a Lincoln Financial Group scholarship for $500. Matt Delatour from Bellarmine College Prep in California, coached by Kim Jones. <laughs> Semi-finalist in third place and receiving a Lincoln Financial Group scholarship for $1,000 is Deep Derry from Monteville High School in New Jersey, coached by Rebecca Hansen. <laughs> With a 7-4 decision, for the negative, the national runner-up in Lincoln Douglas debate and receiving a Lincoln Financial Group scholarship for $2,000 is Brandon Matter from Jackson High School in Ohio, coached by Leslie Molbach. And the national champion and winner of a Lincoln Financial Group scholarship for $5,000 and a bust of Abraham Lincoln, your national champion in Lincoln Financial Group Lincoln Douglas debate. Gabe Brushstein from Monta Vista High School in California, coached by David Matley. All right, Sandy, All right, Sandy it's time. We're going to do one more. We have three remaining drawings. Let's see how lucky we can get here. Dig deep. All right, what do we think? Is Justin Ballard from Junction City High School in Kansas here? Justin Ballard. I see someone running. Come on, Justin. Hey. Congratulations, Justin. All right, at the end of the ceremony, we have two more $1,000 scholarships, and you must be present to win. 
Please welcome to the stage the six finalists in United States Extemporaneous Speaking, presented by Carmendale Fernandez. Please welcome to congratulate tonight's winners on behalf of Carmendale, fellow California coaching legend and NFL Hall of Famer, Gabe Rasher. Your winners in United States Extemporaneous Speaking are, in sixth place, Chase Harrison from Milburn High School in New Jersey, coached by Michael Paul. In fifth place, Alex Wasdall from Jackson High School in Ohio, coached by Carly Ann Barnes. In fourth place, Deb Sir from Bellarmine College Prep in California, coached by Deidre Sullivan. In third place and receiving a $250 scholarship is Richard Clark from Cardinal Mooney High School in Ohio, coached by Jen Gonda and Karen Wright. The national runner-up in United States Extemporaneous Speaking and receiving a $500 scholarship is Matt UVJ from Bellarmine College Prep in California, coached by Bill Healy. And the national champion in United States Extemporaneous Speaking, presented by Carmendale Fernandez, receiving a trophy and a $1,000 scholarship, is William McDonald from Brophy College Prep in Arizona, coached by Steve Evansberger. Please welcome to the stage the finalists in Ripon College AC Ely Memorial International Extemporaneous Speaking. Please welcome to the stage the Ripon College Director of Forensics and all around good guy, Dino Pape, to congratulate the International Extemporaneous Speaking Award winner. Your winners in Ripon College AC Ely International Extemporaneous Speaking are in sixth place, Abilash Sunderetti from James Madison Memorial High School in Wisconsin, coached by Timothy Scheffler. In fifth place, Cohen R. Gill from Desert Vista High School in Arizona, coach Victor Silva. In fourth place, Daniel Morgan Russell from George Washington High School in Colorado, Coach Mary Rose Cohen. In third place, and receiving a $250 scholarship is Lily Nellens from Des Moines Roosevelt High School in Iowa, Coach Harry Strong. The national runner-up in international extemp receiving a $500 scholarship on behalf of Ripon College is Linda Pay from Manhattan High School in Kansas, Coach Sean Rafferty. And the third kid from his family to win this award the national champion in Ripon College AC Ely International Extemporaneous Speaking, receiving a trophy and a thousand dollar scholarship, probably better than his brother and sister, Ashahanda Rabashan from Eastview High School in Minnesota, Coach Todd Herring. At this time, will the finalists in Patrick Henry Memorial Foundation Auxiliary Original Oratory come to the stage. Your winners 
are going to be congratulated by the sponsor of Original Oratory, the Auxiliary of the Patrick Henry Memorial Foundation at Red Hill Plantation in Southside, Virginia. The Patrick Henry Memorial Foundation keeps alive the tradition of Patrick Henry, America's great orator of the revolution. Red Hill Plantation is a wonderful historical memorial to a man who shaped American history and helped define the art of oratory. To congratulate tonight's winners, please welcome the president of the auxiliary of the Patrick Henry Memorial Foundation, Ms. Debbie Osborne. Your winners in Patrick Henry Memorial or Original Oratory are in sixth place. Thomas Dyke from Egan High School in Minnesota, Coach Joni Anker. Josephine Cow from Mira Loma High School in California, Coach Brooke Bingham. In fourth place, Michael Ross from Eastview High School in Minnesota, coached by Hillary Novacek. In third place, and receiving a $250 Patrick Henry Memorial Scholarship is Patricia Alexis Reeves from Abbo Valley High School in Minnesota, coached by Joe Wyckoff and Pam Katie Wyckoff. The national runner-up in original oratory, receiving a $500 Patrick Henry scholarship, Andrew Braden from Elkhart Central High School in Indiana, coached by Kevin Ong. And your repeat champion, your repeat champion in original oratory, receiving a Patrick Henry trophy to go with the other one he's got, and a 2000 Patrick Henry scholarship is Nader Helmy from Apple Valley High School in Minnesota, coached by Joe Wyckoff and Pam Katie Wyckoff. The President's Bowls, sponsored by Mr. Donis and Mrs. Lavila Roberts, recognize the students who, according to all of the judges in the final rounds of original oratory in United States Extemp, won the final round. Presenting the President's Bowls are Donis and Lavila Roberts. This year's President Bowl winner in original oratory is Andrew Braden from Elkhart Central High School in Indiana, coached by Kevin Ong. This year's President's Bowl winner in United States Extemp Speaking is Madhu Vijay from Bellarmine College Prep in California, coached by Bill Healy. The Meta Bowl is sponsored by the family of NFL alum Jason Meta and recognizes the student who, according to all the judges in the final round, won the final round of international extemporaneous speaking. With us this evening to present the Meta Bowl is Jason Meta. This year's Meta Bowl winner is. Ashehanda Rambashan from Eastview High School in Minnesota, Coach Todd Herring. Please welcome the finalists in Western Kentucky University Humorous Interpretation to the stage. Please welcome back to the stage to congratulate the winners, 
Dr. Gary Ransdell, Mr. Chase Lux, and Lindsey White of Western Kentucky University. Your winners in Western Kentucky University Humorous Interpretation are Brent O'Connor from Nova High School in Florida, coached by Casey Miller, Lisa Miller, Garner Newman, and Lindsey White. In fifth place, Mara Wilson from Grapevine High School in Texas, coached by Grant Hom. In fourth place, Stephen Brower from Tulsa Washington High School in Oklahoma, coached by Kelly McCracken. In third place, and receiving a $250 scholarship on behalf of Western Kentucky University, Nina Grohlman from Moorhead Senior High School in Minnesota, coached by Ann Branken, Taja Carlson, Andrew Ioli, and Rebecca Myers Larson. The national runner-up in humorous interpretation, receiving a $500 scholarship. Jacob Guzier from Egan High School in Minnesota, coached by Michael Reynolds. And the national champion in Western Kentucky University humorous interpretation, receiving a $1,000 scholarship, Bailey Norton from Marshfield High School in Missouri, coached by Greg Holmschneider. Please welcome the finalists in dramatic interpretation. Congratulating the winners in Lanny Neglin Dramatic Interpretation in honor of past president Lanny Neglin, our Hall of Fame and executive board members, Ms. Candy King and Mrs. Pam McComas. Your winners in Lanny Neglin Dramatic Interpretation are in sixth place, Devin Manny from Moorhead Senior High School in Minnesota, coached by Rebecca Myers Larson, Annie Backen, Tasha Carlson, and Andrew Eola. In fifth place, Justin Worsbinski from Egan High School in Minnesota, coached by Drew Hammond. In fourth place, Kristen Dupard from Ridgeland High School in Mississippi, coached by Bonnie Ballard. In third place, and receiving a $250 Nan Naglin Memorial Scholarship, Karina Devine from Eastview High School in Minnesota, coached by Meg Kreckler. The national runner-up in dramatic interpretation, receiving a $500 Naglin Memorial Scholarship, is Alexa Curran from Mesquite High School in Arizona, coached by Cassie Alber. And the national champion in Lanny Naglin Dramatic Interpretation, receiving a $1,000 Memorial Scholarship, Deshaun Weston from Grand Prairie High School in Texas, coached by Eric Porter. Would all the finalists in duo interpretation please come forward. All the duo interpretation finalists please forward. Congratulating the winners of Colorado College Sandra Silver's duo interpretation is Vice President of Student Life and Dean of Students of Colorado College, Dr. Mike Edmonds. In sixth place, 
Aaron Watson and Treya Brown from Hattiesburg High School in Mississippi, coached by Scott Waldrop. In fifth place, Tara Williams and Michael Cohen from Independence Truman High School in Missouri, coached by Kim Langer. In fourth place, William Chengary and Michelle McCarthy from Downers Grove South High School in Illinois, coached by Jan Hightine. In third place, and receiving a $250 scholarship on behalf of Colorado College, Rachel Evans and Latia Williams from Roseville Area High School in Minnesota, coached by Brett Hammerlin. The national runners up in duo interpretation, receiving a $500 Colorado College scholarship are Catherine Zhu and Lily Zhang from North Allegheny Senior High School in Pennsylvania, coached by Sharon Volpe. And the national champions in Colorado College, Sandra Silver's duo interpretation, receiving a $1,000 scholarship, are Sarah Dodo and Deborah Witherspoon from James Logan High School in California, coached by Tommy Lindsay Jr. and James Doyle. The University of Alabama awards a $250 scholarship and the Bama Bowl to the students who, according to all of the judges in the final round, won the final round of the three main event interpretation events. Please welcome to the stage to present the Bama Bowls, the director of forensics for the University of Alabama, Bobby Embody, as he presents the Bama Bowl. This year's Bama Bowl final round winner in humorous interpretation is Jacob Guzier from Egan High School in Minnesota, coached by Michael Reynolds. This year's Bama Bowl final round winner in dramatic interpretation is Deshaun Weston from Grand Perry High School in Texas, Coached by Eric Porter. This year's Bama Bowl in the final round winner in duo interpretation are Catherine Zhu and Lily Zhang from North Allegheny Senior High School in Pennsylvania, coached by Sharon Volpe. It's my pleasure to announce the following winners of the Lincoln Financial Group iPad giveaway. If you've not claimed your prize, please go to the Lincoln table located in the foyer immediately after the ceremony. Two winners are Brittany Bodenheimer of Topeka West High School in Kansas and James Colburn of Holland High School in Michigan. If you're a senior in the National Forensic League, please stand. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a charge for you. Remain standing. 
Tonight, you're in very unique company in this auditorium because you're surrounded by excellence. My charge to you is to remember what it means in your life to surround yourself with excellence. You see, you don't get in a place that you're in right now without going the extra mile. And you see, the extra mile, that's a lonely patch of highway. The only way you're going to survive on that particular route is to have a standard of surrounding yourself with excellence. So my charge to you this evening is to make your life a marathon of extra miles. And now it's time to honor our main event national champions with the big money. Each national champion will receive a $5,000 scholarship from Lincoln Financial Group to present your Lincoln Financial Group Circle of Champions. Please welcome photos if you got Sandy Kimmich from Lincoln Financial Group. As they come to the stage, Ms. Kemish will present each winner of a scholarship from Lincoln Financial Group for $5,000. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2012 National Champions. Nader, you need to get your check. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2012 Main Event National Champion.
Ladies and gentlemen, before we draw the final two $1,000 Lincoln Financial Group participant of the year's scholarships, let me thank you. Thank you for making the national tournament a tremendous success. The Indiana Brickyard Nationals will always be an incredible memory. And again, I wish to extend my thanks to the National Tournament Host Committee for creating such a memorable event. Again, a reminder that all champions and their coaches, as well as the Bruno E. Jacob champion team, please come to the stage after the awards program for more photos. Well, President Tate, some final words before we have our drawing. Experience here at in Indiana will long remember this night. And next year, I've got one piece of information though. What is a Hoosier? Who's your neighbor? I found that out. I promise you, I was trying to educate you as I've been educated by some of the Hoosiers here. So we know what a Hoosier is. But also, next year, 2013. We'll be going back to Alabama, home of the Bama Bowls, and Jay Rye for a wonderful another tournament in Birmingham. Ready? For teams that need assistance with shipping national tournament trophies, please proceed to the FedEx office located on the main lobby floor, the Weston, which can be accessed via the second floor sky bridge. That's another piece Come of on. information. That is in addition to the discounted DVDs. Don't forget the discounted DVDs. But if you need help shipping, the FedEx office in the main floor of the Weston Across the second floor sky bridge, the shipping office will be open from 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. to accommodate your shipping needs. Remember that after the awards program, we need the following up front for pictures for the rostrum. The championship duo team, the Bama Bowl winners, all of the national champions, all national champion coaches, the Bruno E. Jacob winning team, and all those who are part of it. Please sit in your seats in the front until your group is called for their photos. School may, schools may access all final results following the award ceremony by going to nflonline.org. Fascinatingly, the same place you can get your discounted DVDs. Complete tournament results will be published in the September rostrum. If you wait till September, you will no longer have a discount on the DVDs. That was 10 days. Okay, please welcome to the stage, Sandy Kemish of Lincoln Financial Group for the final two participant of the year drawing. All right, here we go. All right, Sandy. Dig in there deep. Let's see what we have. Matthew Gandy from Park Hill South High School in Missouri. Is Matthew Gandy here? Park Hill South. Park Hill South. Three, two, one. Sorry, Matthew. Here we go. Kristen Dupard, Ridgeland High School, Mississippi. All right. Is Kristen Dupard here? All right. Move. <laughs> She's coming. Hey. All right. Congratulations. All right, we have one more. One more chance. <laughs> Paul Vigas from Science High School in New Jersey. Paul. Not feeling it. Three, two, one. Sorry, Paul.
Stephen P. Tyler from Balin Jesuit Prep School, Florida. We've been down this road. Don't believe they're here tonight. Sorry, Balin Jesuit Prep School from Florida. Stephen, no go. Taylor Woods from Heritage Hall High School in Oklahoma. Is Taylor here? Three, two, one. All right, let's get a good one here. Micah Costello from Palisade High School in Colorado. Micah? He's, he's there? All right, come on down, Micah. Congratulations. Thank you, everyone, and Thank you. good night. Thank you, Lincoln. Thank you, Indiana.